Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Total Biscuit of the WoW Podcast, Blue Please on CynicalBrit.com. I've got some more 4.2 PTR content for you. Now, those of you into the lore will be interested to know that the day after you do the Liara or whatever it is quest where Hamel Rune Totem is supposedly killed, it turns out that a new quest will open up and he's not actually dead. He's just really, really, really badly burned. So what this does is it unlocks a new set of dailies and you're going to hand this one in and then you've got this daily quest relieving the pain. I don't know as to whether or not this is the same quest every day. I don't know if there are some other things to do, but it looks like it is possible for you to heal Hummel Rune Totem since there is a question there, how is Hummel doing? Now, this is similar to the questions that you can ask of Malfurion Storm Rage inside the Firelands as to how the battle is going. So I have to assume that this will change as it goes along, having completed multiple quests for these. So, you have to obtain four flame wreathed hearts from Seething Fire Lords. These are actually elite monsters. And we can also go and have a look at this, which is very odd indeed. I don't know if this is the final model, but he's looking completely bizarre. He's supposed to look like a burned Torin, but I don't even know what he looks like right now. I mean, looking at the texture, get out of the way. Let's have a quick look at that. Good lord, that's crazy. It's probably incomplete texture work. That would be my theory for that, but. Ugh. It's pretty hideous. So, the most important thing to take from this, apart from the fact that Hamol Rune Totem looks very bizarre now, is that there are more daily quests to do outside in Hyjal. So what I've picked up is I picked up Call the Flock for the fifth time in a row, and I've also got this quest to slay some elite fire elementals, and the Seething Fire Lords are one of these guys, and you will be able to gain some of the hearts required, assuming the server doesn't disconnect. I won't be bringing you much content today for the simple reason that this game right now is really broken. The PTR is all over the place and it is DCing you every couple of minutes. Now, the quest we picked up involved slaying some of these guys. There's also a rare elite over there that you can see. And I don't really know what that one happens to have in terms of loot. I didn't decide to take it out. I probably should have. Now, when you go into this area, you'll actually be accompanied by a number of... NPCs, including Death Guard Darnell. You might be aware of that guy. Darnell was the fellow that you went around with in the Forsaken starting area. As it turns out, he, of course, did become a Death Guard, as you're probably well aware. He will continue to say hello, as some people on WoW had it very, very annoyed by. And there are a couple of other characters that will appear in this particular engagement. It's good to have these NPCs, because beating these elites on your own is really hard. They do hit really hard, and they have a number of nasty raid level kind of abilities, including this reflective shield. And as it turns out, as you're about to see right here, that is a full reflection of damage. And you do get warnings from around the place that say, hey, he's got a shield, stop it. So it's kind of like doing some raid level encounters, and I do like that very, very much. you got plenty more NPCs that come in to help you as well. It does feel like a real battle, as opposed to some of the other daily quests, which were just like kill seven easy mobs that you can do solo. This requires the help of NPCs, and I do like that. That's very, very cool indeed. There's also another character that you uh, might like to see around here. Mancrick actually comes along and gets very, very annoyed with people. However, the problem I've got with this area is that it's too easy to have all the mobs tagged. There are not a lot of mobs spawning. Now, I don't know whether or not the scaling is currently working properly on the PTR or not, but that's definitely something they need to look into. Unlike some of the mobs in the Firelands, you do have to tag these in order to get the items out of them. So it's very, very easy to have your mobs tagged by somebody else. So you're running around trying to grab them as quickly as possible. And there only seems to be about five or six of these things around at any given time. There we go, there's Mancrick. He is not happy one little bit. He's out for vengeance, folks. What can I say? Aside from that, that's really all this questing area actually offers, but it is certainly an awful lot of fun to do these battles with the NPCs, although, like most daily quests, it's going to get pretty samey after a while. I would recommend, once again, that you do try and group up with people, if there happen to be questers on your faction here. The PTR is a little unstable. Had you figured that out by now? I certainly hope so. Good lord. So pick up a few more of these. Bear in mind that you can only kill the seething fire lords for the hearts. You cannot kill these big fire giants for them, but they do count towards the credit for the other quests. So it doesn't really matter all that much. Once you've handed that in, that's pretty much it for the extra dailies as far as I can tell. You do have to do the hand-in for the killing of the six elementals inside 
the actual Firelands themselves. Now, that NPC is one of the NPCs that you saw in the previous Firelands video, and I'm going to skip forward so that I can show you that. And it also indicates that further dailies will be available and reminds you that you can still do the Hygel dailies for the marks. So it seems like you should be able to acquire the marks a little bit quicker than 12 per day as you go forward. Bear in mind, if you are currently trying to do PTR testing, there are phasing bugs with the molten front at the moment. And every now and again, when you go in there, you'll find that there's barely anybody there. You just have to leave the area and go back in and hope that the phase actually works this time. So here's the hand in. You saw this person before in the previous Firelands video, and she was the one that gives you that extra quest. Looks like that elite quest will become a daily, so it is certainly possible to get some extra marks. That's it for the moment, folks. My name is Total Biscuit, and I will see you next time.